My mom claims that my first word was car. So for a long time, I've had a dream of building cars. And when I entered as a student in the Vehicle Research Institute in about 1994, uh, the institute was already building cars, and in fact has done so, advanced vehicles, since 1972. So our vehicle, Viking 45, is a plug-in hybrid vehicle that's set up to run as a parallel hybrid. Now what that means is we have a three-cylinder engine, very, it's very efficient. And we did something that we did on Viking 25. We grafted an additional electric motor onto the transmission so that we could add power from that electric motor into the drivetrain and run independently of the engine. And with the lithium-ion battery packs that are now available, you can have a fairly small pack that can still get you at least 20 miles of range uh, in the vehicle. And we think um, 20 miles of all electric range is probably the minimum that you'd ever want to have. And ideally you want 40 because that will cover most people's commute to and from work. Then if you want more performance, we can run the IC engine and we can run uh, the larger electric motor. And that will essentially doubles the torque output. Our car is an incredibly good looking machine that is capable of over 100 miles per gallon on most driving cycles. It's made out of advanced composites, carbon fiber, that has been taken from the uh, process used to make the Boeing Dreamliner. So it's an industrial waste, uh, so that's also exciting. It's using the materials that are already being discarded. The innovation's really in the packaging. We've, we've packaged an internal combustion engine with the hybrid drive system using advanced lithium batteries. The body is probably the sexiest part. I think the most challenging part of this competition has been trying to meet all of the objectives of the competition. Now, it is so difficult to make 100 miles per gallon in a vehicle that has to pass crash standards, that has to meet emissions, and oh by the way, has to meet 10,000 units per year of production. So all of those kinds of things were things that were required by the XPRIZE. And that changed the way that we that we did things. It changed the way that we uh, built the car. It changed the way that we fit and finish the car. So those, uh, those requirements really set the standard. You know, everyone else will have claims about their cars. We'll prove it. This is the only way to prove it. Everyone under the same conditions, same drive cycles. So there's no, no guessing. I mean, for the Vehicle Research Institute, for Western Washington University, this is really about creating the future engineers.